Hello and welcome to class activity number 14. In this class activity, we are going to force users not to use a specific application on their host machine, on their computer. And uh, this way you can force them to use something else. If, for example, um, today we are not go we're going to prevent users from using the, uh, the Explorer, the Internet Explorer because it's an old version and uh, this way we either force them to use the Edge, the new Edge uh, browser or Chrome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create um, a group policy that will prevent users from using the Explorer. And when they click on it, they're gonna get a statement that says your administrator prevented you from using this. And then therefore you will have no choice but to go and use another browser. All right, so let's get started. Boot up the domain controller. And once you boot it up, uh, let's go to the computer, to the object um, group policy management. All right, this is going to be a computer um, policy. So make sure that your, um, your client has authenticated and he is in here in the computers, right? So we'll get to that later on. All right, so let's go to the group policy object, right click on the group policy object and go to new. And type in prevent, prevent access to internet explorer GPL. All right, click OK. I already have that. If I do, it's right here. So right click on it now and go to edit. Now remember, this is a computer. So we are going to prevent users from using the Windows Explorer on the computer. It doesn't matter who signs in. So under computer configuration, expand policies expand the um, the windows settings all right expand the security settings right here let me just expand this a little bit and uh after you expand the security settings we need to expand Oops, sorry. The application control policies, expand that. And there's your app locker. Let me just expand this a little bit. All right, in the app locker, you need, we need to, hold on a second. I want you to click on the right click on the executable rules right here executable right click on that right click on that and go to create a default rules all right so in here i already created one but i'm going to take you step by step in here, right click and create a new rule. All right, then click on next. Okay, we want to deny. Well, leave everyone, right? We want to allow everyone for this. Click on next. And click on path. Hold on a second, hold on a second. No, we forgot to click on deny. We want to deny, sorry about that. Deny everyone, click on next. Click on the path, click on next. Now click on browse files. Let's go find the Explorer, the Windows Explorer. So the, go to Internet Explorer, double click on that. And here's the iExplorer. That's the executable file that we want. So click on that and say open. All right, 
then click on next well you can click on create that's it all right so i got one right here for everyone i got both of them twice all right i'm going to i don't need this object can delete it so it's right here so you should have done it because i've done it before already all right, now, to actually, for this to take effect, you have to go to the system services, and you have to enable the application identity. So double click on that, and make sure you click on the box that says define this policy settings and click on automatic. Okay, take a picture of this and put it in the bottom of the lab and then click, click apply and then click okay that's it so now you the application identity have to be enabled to automatic and then you can lock app lock anyone you want all you have to do is deny people from using the executable file of the application going through the same step it doesn't have to be windows explorer it could be anything else all right so now we need to, we can close this right now. We need to link the object to the computer's XYZ computer. So you right click, link an existing GPO and click on prevent access to the Internet Explorer and click OK. All right. And if you click here, we have both of these. Remember the, the, the deployment, the one we de where we deployed the uh, Windows, I'm um, sorry, the Chrome. And now we have to prevent the access to the Internet Explorer. All right, so we are done. Now we're going to go and test it out. So let's go and boot up the client. Okay, so let's log in. And let's log in with Mike Smith. And his login name, uh, password is welcome. Four, if you remember. If you don't remember, then you can go and reset it if you want to. Okay, so what I did is I put Windows uh, Internet Explorer right here, shortcut of it. If you don't know, if you can't, you know, we got to do a GP update, so let's do that. So go to run and type uh, CMD because the search is not working out for And type GP, GP update space front slash force. Okay, so it has been completed successfully. You may have to reboot, say yes. Okay, let us sign out and we'll sign back in. Okay, let's sign back in. Welcome for. All right, now. Where do we find a Windows Explorer? It's not on the desktop because this is the new Windows. Let's go and search for it. Open up the Explorer. We need to find a browser. And uh, it's on C drive, under program files, Internet Explorer, it's right here, right? I, what I did is I've made a shortcut. But if you double click on it, see? This app has been blocked by your system administrator. That's what you should get. Make a copy of this. I mean, take a screenshot and put that at the bottom of the lab. And that's it. That's how easy it is. This is how you can easily um, lock an app from the user's machines from here. Now, everybody, when they log into their computers, as long as the authenticated computers that are on their XYZ computers, will not be able to use Windows Explorer. Now you can do this for any application. All right, so um, 
That's it for this exercise, and I'll see you on the next class activity.